personalizations. If it's not real to you, it's not real to us. Ask yourself if you have anything in your real life that parallels both the goal and the stakes for what's happening in the scene. For example, if you were uh, auditioning for a character who is being interrogated by the police for a crime you didn't commit, do you have anything in your life that resembled something like that, where you were about to lose your freedoms for something somebody else did because you were being interrogated by authority? Did your parents at any time in your life uh, lecture you or, or, or threaten to ground you for something your sibling did? Or did you ever have an experience with a principal or a high school teacher who perhaps uh, was threatening to suspend you for something somebody else in the school did, but you couldn't, you couldn't rat them out for whatever reasons? Find something in your real life that has a parallel sense of goal and stakes for whatever's happening in the scene. There's going to be times where you don't have anything and that's okay. And that's where we use something called an as if. And that's where we imagine as if something like that happened. So let's use that same police scenario and you had nothing in your life where you've ever been falsely accused and had your freedoms threatened. You have to imagine what would it have been like if my parents threatened to suspend me or take away my car or whatever for something my brother or my sister did. What would that feel like? That's what helps us connect to the scene. That's what helps us better understand the character from a more personalized approach. We refer to that as a personalization.